Calgary West. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Alberta law enforcement response teams, otherwise known as ALERT, have been fighting organized crime, weapons trafficking, biker gangs, and child sexual exploitation for 10 years. But funds are running so short that ALERT will have to cut 70 of its 268 officers next year. Wow. So to the Justice Minister, given that organized crime is embedded in communities in ways that would shock Albertans, and given that ALERT has successful record of making our community safer, what are you doing to ensure ALERT can continue its invaluable work protecting Albertans? Minister of Justice. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker, and to the member for the critical question. Of course, ALERT performs a number of critical functions. Uh, with both the support of ALERT and the Alberta Association of Chiefs of Police, we have undertaken uh, an audit of ALERT, and that has come up with several findings. We are moving forward with a strategy that will ensure that there is no loss in frontline services or those uh, critical functions which, al which ALERT performs. Thank you. Thank you. And again, to the Justice Minister, given that the loss of alert would impact rural communities the hardest, and given that the government has spoken proudly of the work alert is performing to keep Alberta communities safe from drug traffickers, child predators, drug cartels, and bikers, and given that alert is our frontline defense for fentanyl, and this government promised not to affect frontline workers, yes. what consultation have you had with the law enforcement agencies and communities in rural Alberta about the potential eruption of drugs and organized crime because alert is about to lose one quarter of its resources? Minister of Justice. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and to the member for the question. Well, I've, uh, as I've just said, uh, we have received an audit of alert. We are working on a strategy going forward to ensure that they lose none of their frontline resources. Um, we are looking at restructuring a number of things so they're uh, better placed. We have been working with our law enforcement partners across the province, including the Alberta Association of Chiefs of Police and the alert board itself, to ensure that none of those functions are lost and that they all continue to be performed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And to the same minister, given that fentanyl has become Alert's priority this past year, with communities such as Bonneville, Cold Lake, uh, the Blood Tribe, all desperately asking for help, and given that since the fentanyl crisis began a year ago, Alert has seized 26,000 pills, 70% of them in 2015 alone, and given that, given that popping just one pill can be the equivalent of putting a bullet into your head, and given that Alert is running out of money, will you commit today, Minister, to fully funding Alert to ensure it can continue to save lives? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and to the member for the question. Uh, well, I've, as, as I've said twice now, uh, we are working with ALERT and with the Alberta Association of Chiefs of Police to ensure that those frontline functions are still being performed. Uh, when it comes to fentanyl, of course, this is a critical issue. ALERT has been enormously helpful in this area, and we will ensure that that work continues. In addition, I think that the uh, important piece is to realize that we must work with our partners also in health care and in education to ensure that we are addressing the underlying drivers of these sorts of addictions. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.